Hi guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to my art life. For today's episode, I will be sharing with you my paper mache recipe. And this is not any ordinary paper mache because aside from it being easy to make, strong and durable, it is also environmentally friendly because we will be recycling paper that otherwise will be thrown away. So if you like arts and crafts, this is a very good way to help mother nature by recycling paper and not to mention saving money as most of the ingredients are readily found in your home and relatively cheap as well. The recipe is also very simple and easy to make. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll start by pouring in around 1.5 liters of water and you can use any large pot for this step. Just make sure that the water would fill halfway or less as we will be adding paper later. It will be hard to mix the paste later on if the pot becomes too full. Next is adding around 1 to 2 tablespoons of dishwashing liquid. Soap helps in breaking down the paper fibers so that you'll have a smoother paper mache paste. I also added in around half a cup of salt and you can adjust the amount depending on how much paper you'll be putting in later. Salt prevents the growth of mold or foul smells from breaking out during the drying period of the paper mache. Now add in the paper once the water starts boiling. You may want to rip or shred the paper first so that it breaks down easily. You can add all sorts of paper like packaging, cardboard boxes, scrap paper, junk mail, paper bags, and many more. So instead of throwing them away, you can save money on art materials, especially if you regularly use paper mache in your work. Next is adding cornstarch to the mix. I used around one cup of cornstarch for this batch. Make sure to mix the cornstarch with water first before adding it to avoid clumps. Cornstarch will act as a glue and hardener. Since the batch will now grow thicker due to the cornstarch, make sure you stir the paste regularly so that it would not burn. Once you're satisfied with the paste, you can turn off the stove and let the paste cool down before touching it. I would normally leave it for a couple of hours to make sure that it has cooled completely. Now that the mushy paste has cooled down, you can now drain it and mold the paste to whatever shape or form you want. Afterwards, leave the paper mache in a sunny area so that it would dry much faster. I leave mine at the balcony for about 3 days to a week depending on how sunny the weather is or how big the paper mache that I'm making. Now 
And here are my paper mache's now completely dry and the cornstarch did a great job in making it super hard and durable. It looks and sounds like stone but it is very lightweight. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and if you tried this paper mache recipe, please let us know how it turned out by leaving a comment below. Have a great day everyone and keep on creating.